This is Ross for Castanato interviewing Herbie J. Pilato at Book Soup on um, June, I think it is June 12th, June 12th, 2023. So now, how long did it take to write the, uh, the new book that you have, which is Retroactive Television? Yeah. Well, actually, it took years to really fully get it to where it is because originally I had it a version of it done in 2013 but wasn't totally happy with it so I've been so busy with these other books that I had just pushed it aside and then in the last few years I went back to the, the manuscript or the yeah the manuscript and started refining it and having some new interviews so I'd say 10 years <laughs> oh, very nice what was it like doing that um Usually, you know, when I write a book, it's not as as expansive as retroactive television. It's more of a focus on just one show or one celebrity, like you know, Elizabeth Montgomery or Mary Taylor Moore, the Bionic shows. So this covers the entire history of of the positive impact of classic TV, not the history of television, but the history of the positive impact of classic TV, specifically from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. So there was a larger um, um, grouping of topics and subjects to to focus on as opposed to just one. So it took a, that's why it took so long. Cool. Very nice. What was the inspiration for the book? Well, I've always talked about, you know, all the different books that I did TV or all the different books that I did that were based on TV shows I always focused on what was the positive impact of the witch what was the positive impact of the six million dollar man what was the positive impact of life goes on what was the positive impact of kung fu so I wanted to make sure that I covered the positive impact of all shows from the 50s 60s and 70s as much as I could uh, to again expand upon what I had already addressed in a smaller scale and to just make it across the board. Cool. Very nice. And what was the first book that you wrote? The first book I wrote was the Bewitched book, which came out in 1992. And then I revised that in 1990. No. Yeah. Yeah. I revised that in 19. I started to revise it in 1995. And by that time, I had the Kung Fu Book of Wisdom, the Kung Fu Book of Cain. And then in 2007, which is a big time before I really published another one, um, there was the Life Goes On book, my MBC and Me book, and the Bionic book. Cool. Very nice. What was it like to write those? I loved um, writing the Bionic book. I actually went to the set of Bionic Ever After, which was the last Bionic reunion movie that they did in 1994 with Lindsay Wagner and, and Lee Majors and Richard Anderson. So I got to meet all of them in person. I had talked to them on the phone for the to interview them, but I never met them in person. So that was awesome that I got to do all of that before the Bionic book was published. Cool. Very nice. Well, thank you for allowing me to interview you. Thank you very much for your questions, and thank you for being such a loyal supporter. And congratulations on all your great interviewing success. My pleasure. I like them. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, there you have it. That was Roster Castanato interviewing Herbie J. Pilato.